Hello everyone. In this final lesson on the string R package in R, we're going to go over some different convenience functions for viewing strings. So we'll start just by loading in the tidyverse. We have already preloaded the data set we were working with of Reddit posts. So we'll be working with that again. Now in base R, you can use the built-in print function to do basic string printing. So we'll look at the first 10 posts of this data set here. You can see that the formatting is not always super nice with base R printing. So there's some things you can do with string R that might be better for looking at your strings. First, we're going to start by just getting a subset of posts that mention the term deep learning. And then we're going to use the stir view function. This is an alternative to print that views strings in an HTML format, and it will also highlight the first occurrence of a given substring pattern if you specify that. So we're going to look at these deep learning posts, and our pattern is going to be deep. So for each of the ones displayed, the substring deep, the first occurrence of it, will be highlighted. So let's run that. As you can see in the post here, the text is formatted differently. It might be a little nicer to look at in this HTML form. And for instance, in the first post, we see the first occurrence of our substring here, deep, is in this little box. So it shows us where it is within the post. Now you can highlight all occurrences of a given pattern instead of just the first one. You can do that using stir view all. So this is essentially doing the exact same thing as our last function. It's just every occurrence of deep is going to be highlighted now instead of just the first one. So as we recall from previous lessons, that first post contained two occurrences. Deep was here, but it was also here. So both of those are highlighted. As you can see, in our notebook environment we're using right now, the strings that are being shown are actually too wide to fit on the screen all at once. Some of it's being cut off. So you can do some formatting with string R to avoid that if you want to by limiting how wide paragraphs are. To do that, you can use stir wrap, stir underscore wrap. And then you can specify a width for how wide you want the paragraphs to be made. And this, what is, this essentially is going to do is insert new line characters spaced based on whatever you specify so that it cuts what could be a very long string that's just going to run on or be cut off into something that can be better displayed as a paragraph that is only a certain number of characters per line. But here we're going to take that first post and call stir wrap on it and we're going to set it to a width of 50. So when we run this we can see we have inserted new line characters. They should be spaced every 50 characters. Um, the base R printing that's happening here is actually still showing the entire string just as one long string, even with the new lines in there. If you wanted to print this out with actually observing these new line characters and seeing it in a paragraph format, we can do that a couple different ways. You can actually do it using base R cat function. So if we piped this wrap string to cat, it will observe those line breaks that we added in using the wrap function and it will be printed as a paragraph with 50 characters per line. Now we could do what amounts to the same thing using the stir view all function that we learned about earlier which shows strings formatted as HTML. The one problem there is that HTML doesn't use the new line characters for line breaks. It uses the br tag so we can actually do this by using one of the other functions we learned in an earlier lesson to replace all of these line breaks that we added with the HTML version of line break and then using stir view all. So let's walk through what this code is doing. The first function call here again is just doing the wrapping. So we're getting the first post and inserting a new line character spaced so that there will be 50 characters on every line. And then we're piping the result of that to stir replace all. And then we're replacing that new line character that we just added with the br tag, which in HTML adds a line break. So we're essentially just substituting this line break for one that HTML understands. And then we're going to pipe that into the stir view all that we learned about earlier. Again, we'll just set pattern equal to deep so those will be highlighted. So this will also display the paragraph with 50 characters per line, but now it's formatted as HTML. 
and also our substring here deep has been highlighted in both the places that it occurs. That concludes this mini series on the string R library in R. I hope you learned some useful string manipulations to use in your R code. I will provide links to a string R cheat sheet as well as the programming notebook that I use to make these guides. So thanks for watching.